Hello guys, gals, and non-binary pals. Welcome back to my channel. My name is SimSweet, and we are back with another video. So today, I thought it would be really fun. I was inspired by a another Simmer, I think, Salili, Laili? I think that's probably how you pronounce it, so Laylee Sims, whose channel is super cute. I'll link it down below. Definitely check them out. This is basically just a video about what my dream wardrobe looks like in The Sims. So I created my sim self, which I, I created back for a video on skin tones. I did like a major edit of my sim self. That video will also be linked down below if you're interested. It's just going into the skin tones update that we got. Anyway, so I basically just did all, like things that I think I would wear in real life, but in The Sim. I guess first I'll just talk a little bit about how I would describe my personal style and then uh, each of the outfits I ended up picking. So my personal style, I'm not really sure what I would call it. One of my friends once said I kind of dress like a French witch. I feel like that's a pretty accurate. I don't know. I wear a lot of black, which is kind of surprising considering my personality, which I feel like is very bubbly and smiley and dorky, but I don't know. But it does not translate into my personal style. I wear a ton of black. I almost look like, yeah, like a weird witchy gal. I love hats. I'm obsessed with hats. I wear hats as often as I can. Here's one of my favorites. Berets. I love berets. I have a whole collection of berets. I have like it must be like six or seven different berets of all varieties, colors, and textures. I also am obsessed with crop tops. You'll never see me. It doesn't matter if it's summer, if it's winter, if it's fall. I will always be wearing a crop top. It does not matter. Personally, I feel like they just suit my body type a little bit better. So I really enjoy like a nice fitted crop top. All of my shirts are cropped. This one is cropped. I love high-waisted pants and skirts. So anytime I wear any sort of bottom, it's always high-waisted with a crop top. Like that's just, <laughs> that's just what I always end up doing. Like I love me a long maxi dress that's super floral. I also own a lot of black floral. That's kind of like definitely one thing that I own a ton of. Anyway, so I'm going to go into each outfit that I ended up picking. This video will probably be pretty quick. For my everyday, I had my original outfit. I did five outfits because, you know, I wear like lots of different stuff. So I was trying to get, you know, a representative idea of all the different types of things I wear. For my first everyday was an outfit I already had, which was just like a black crop top and a high-waisted jeans. Then I did that full body piece from paranormal stuff that I'm obsessed with. I don't actually own anything like this, but I was in love with this. And it would definitely be part of my dream wardrobe and something I would totally wear and now I kind of want to buy and I'm a little jealous that my sim has this and I don't. With a pair of kind of like black lace-up combat-y type boots and a choker. I also love chokers. I own too many of them. I'm not even going to go into that because I just, I can't. For my next outfit, I ended up going with a blazer with a crop top and jeans. These jeans are probably a little bit more low rise than something I would wear in real life, but I just couldn't find like a good pair of high rise that were different and also flared at the bottom, which I'm a huge fan of flared pants. I love flared pants. I will wear flared pants whenever I can. So that one just felt the closest to what I would wear. And then I gave myself a hat similar to the one that I'm wearing right now. So for my fourth everyday outfit, I ended up going with a cute like blue floral top that was cropped because again, I only wear things when they're cropped. Like that is the only way that I know how to exist. And a pair of high-waisted jeans. I also just wear a ton of jeans. That's something I wear kind of almost every day. And black boots. I own honestly an embarrassing amount of black boots. We'll wear boots with any outfit. It's honestly a problem. I can't stop buying them. I need help. It's fine. It's an addiction, but we, we've we accepted it. At least it's cute. You know what? It's not harming anyone. Okay, and for my last everyday outfit, I kind of went for something a little bit different, but also that I would wear. So I love overalls. I actually don't own a pair of full body overalls. I have like a pair of overall shorts and I like overall dresses. So I also own like a kind of faux fur. I try not to wear real fur. I have like a faux fur pink jacket and I felt like that one was pretty close to that jacket I own and I wear that one all the time. 
especially in the winter, with a crop top, because again, it does not matter the season, I will be wearing a crop top. And then <laughs> I added a beret for this outfit because I also love berets. So for my formal wear, I ended up going with four different outfits because I also wear a sort of different things for formal wear. So one thing I'm obsessed with, which is what I went with for the first formal wear outfit, is jumpsuits. I love a jumpsuit. You could put me in any jumpsuit. I'll be so excited. I just love things that have pockets. And then a pair of heel, like red heels. I'm not a big heels person, so I actually probably wouldn't really wear that. I do wear heels sometimes. I do have a pair of red heels actually, but I don't wear them that often. I'm really more of a boots, a boots kind of gal. Like I love, my boots are always heeled. Like they'll have like a big wedge or heel on them, but like actual heels, I'm not, I'm not super into that. And so for my second formal wear outfit, I went with just like a long black sort of like spaghetti strap, black dress, maxi dress or midi, I'm not really sure. And a pair of heeled boots, which again, I wear all the time and a choker. So this is just something I would wear, not just for formal wear, I'd probably also wear this as every day. So for my third formal wear, I again went with like a kind of blazer look. So I kind of have like two looks for formal wear. It's either, or maybe three, like a cute dress, jeans and a blazer, or jumpsuit. There's, again, no in between. Those are, it's always, it's always one of those. So I went with a blue blazer, kind of like one that I actually have in real life, a pair of high-waisted jeans, and again, those black boots, heeled boots, because again, black heeled boots I will be wearing always. That's it, <laughs> you know. All right, so for the last outfit, I went again with something, again, with a lot of black because I wear just a ton of black. Dress layered under like a long cardigan type thing. I also love a cardigan. I own many cardigans. <laughs> and a pair of tall black boots. Again, love boots. If you can put me in a pair of heeled boots, I will be in a pair of heeled boots. It's just, that's just the life I have decided to live, <laughs> you know. So I'm not going to go too much into my athletic and sleepwear, but I guess this is like Typically what I would wear for running or for tennis, I'm a tennis player as well, usually just like a pair of leggings or a tennis skirt and then I have like a white tennis jacket that's for when we play and it's a little bit colder out and then a sports bra. I never wear a shirt when I'm working out. I've just, we've given up on that. We've thrown it out. It's just the sports bra all or nothing, you know, <laughs> and then for sleepwear. I went with just kind of like a long shirt and no pants, which is like 100% what I do. I never wear pants to bed. I'll like maybe wear pants around the house until like I'm actually going to sleep and then the pants are coming right off. No pants, never pants in bed. Why wear pants when you could just be like living free, you know? All right, and for my party wear, again, it kind of fit in that same like general idea of what I would wear typically, which is just like a tall pair of high-waisted jeans with black boots, again, with the black boots, this hat that I own, and then a black crop top. I'm not really gonna go into swimwear because I didn't really have anything I would wear and I didn't really get a chance to get like a CC thing for that. I mean, I, I like high-waisted bottoms and like a cute top that's like you know I don't have strong feelings about swimwear so you know I didn't really choose that one that meticulously so for hot weather wear this is absolutely something I would wear which is a high-waisted pair of shorts a cropped top and it's floral a pair of sandals a choker and then sunglasses I'm absolutely sunglass obsessed you will see me in sunglasses from the months of May until August or September, the sunglasses will be on my head or on my face. And then a big floppy hat. Again, I love hats. If I can wear a hat, you will see me in a hat. I ended up making two outfits for my cold weather wear. So I'm from the New England area where it gets pretty cold and snowy. So, you know, I totally wear lots of big coats and boots, except I'm also, you know, I've lived in the New England area for so long that I've become absolutely numb to the cold and I refuse to wear pants despite the fact that it is probably the temperature where I should be, like it's below 20 degrees and I should be wearing pants, but will I be wearing pants? No, I will be wearing tights and a pair of snow boots. <laughs> so I ended up going with that. I typically would wear probably a dress I, I was trying to emulate a dress. There wasn't quite a dress that fit under that jacket, but I this is something I would totally wear. You would see me in today, just like a faux fur pink coat layered on top of a dress with tights and snow boots, despite the fact that it's zero degrees. If you're from New England, you know, you get it. For my second 
cold weather wear, I went with this hat again, which I do wear a lot, especially in the winter and fall months. Pea coat. I love me a trench coat or pea coat, especially with a fun color like red or yellow on top of a dress. Again, because I refuse to wear pants despite the fact that I probably should be. The colder it is, the less you'll see me in pants. Doesn't make sense. Don't don't question it, it's fine. And then a pair of tights and a pair of like similar snow boots that are similar to the ones that I own in real life. All right, so those are the outfits I chose. I guess I'll go a little into my Sim Self traits since we are here with my Sim Self, why not? I ended up giving myself the creative trait because I loved doing creative things. I love to sing and I play several instruments. I play piano, guitar, ukulele. I think that's it, unless I'm missing something, but I love to play instruments, I love to sing, I'm a big musical theater nerd, not really a visual artist, although I like to draw, I'm not like, like not very good or anything, but I do enjoy it. So yeah, I love all sorts of creative activities, so that definitely felt like a trait I needed to have. And then I gave myself vegetarian, which I feel like is not that central to my personality that I would give myself a whole trait. You see, this is why we need five traits in The Sims, but I am a vegetarian, so that's, I guess, a part of my personality that felt like it kind of needed to be there. And then I also gave myself dog lover because I'm a big fan of dogs. I love dogs. I live in my head rent-free. My favorite thing in the whole world is my my child, Bella. Not not a human child, my, my dog, who you can see in the corner there. I also created her. She's a toy poodle. She's so sweet and crazy and adorable and I love her so much. So I love dogs, you know, I just, I kind of, I had to put it. <laughs> and then I gave myself the academic aspiration. I'm a super nerd. I love science. I was a neuroscience major in college. I like just graduated. The academic aspiration felt very true to me, I guess, of all of the things. I mean, I'm also super, I would say, kid family oriented. Like I love kids, but like that's not, I'm, you know, only 23 years old. It's definitely not something I'm thinking about at the moment. So, <laughs> you know, that aspiration just made absolutely no sense for me now. So academic felt the most fitting of all of them. I will also be releasing a video with my dream apartment that I made, a speed build where I'm just going to talk about like kind of the choices I made there. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you have a magical, marvelous day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!